Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you the manual way to create a multi-camera sequence. So this is what I want to create here. I have a multi-camera sequence on my timeline. I can switch between the different video angles, but my audio stays the same. I can see all of my audio waveforms and when it comes time to finishing this edit, I can flatten it and that will reveal all of the original media. So we're going to create this manually. We're going to create this from scratch, but of course there is an automatic way to do this, choosing clip, create multi-camera source sequence. But here's the thing, there are times when I can't use this window. For example, if I've done the syncing outside of Premiere in a program like Pluralize, but also sometimes I get media that has no sync reference at all. And these are the times I have to create my multi-camera source sequences from scratch. So before I create my multi-camera sequence, there is an important step that I have to do, and that is I have to set all of my media to the same audio channel format. And what we mean by that is when we add the media to the timeline and we look at the audio clip, how many channels do we have inside of that clip? And I can see here that I have one. That means that my audio channel format is mono. You could also have two channels that would be stereo or six channels that would be 5.1 but I'm gonna bet that 99% of the time you just wanna set this to mono. And the place to set your audio channel format is to select your media, go up to the clip menu, and you wanna choose modify audio channels. If you're unfamiliar with this window and you haven't used it before, I do have another video on how to set your clip channel format. Once you've set your audio channel format, you can move on to creating your multi-camera sequence. And just to show you exactly what we need, I'm gonna open up this sequence here in my timeline by selecting the clip, holding down the command or control key and double clicking. That will open my multi-camera sequence in the timeline. And this is exactly what we want. We want to have all of our tracks to be standard tracks. And over here in our audio track mixer, I want every odd track to be panned to the left and every even track to be panned to the right. We also need to assign every track pair to a new output channel. So I can see that track one and two are output to channels one and two, and then track three and four are output to channels three and four. And if this is sounding like a lot of work, don't worry because I have a really fast way to set up all of this. What I'm gonna do is go over to my project panel, down to my new item button. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a new offline file. I'm not gonna worry about the video settings right now. I'm just gonna click okay on this. And in this second window, I wanna go over to the audio format and I wanna change this to multi-channel and then I'll click okay. And then I'm gonna duplicate this file by holding down shift command forward slash, or that's control shift forward slash on PC. And then I'll double click this copy and where it says contains audio and video, I'm just gonna change this to video. So it has no audio at all. And then I'm going to select the offline file that is audio and video. I'll hold down shift and select the video only file. And then I'll go up to my clip menu and choose create multi-camera source sequence. For this window, I want to sync using the endpoints. I want my audio sequence settings to be set to all cameras. And for the audio channels preset, we want that to be that clip channel format that we chose before. So I'm gonna make sure mine is set to mono and then I'll click okay. And what this has done is this has created a multi-camera sequence that I can use for any situation. So I'm gonna hold down the command or control key, double click this. And you can see there's that offline file there. But also if I go over to my audio track mixer, you can see it has set up all of these tracks automatically for me. So I haven't had to do any of that. Now what I could do is just go in and delete those offline files and start using this. But what I would rather do is create a preset from this sequence so I never need to create it again. So instead what I'm gonna do is go over to my project panel. I'm gonna click my new item button and choose sequence. And for the video settings, you can set this to whatever you want, probably what you most commonly use. But what we wanna do is go over to the track setting and I'm gonna go and choose load from sequence. And what I wanna do is load the audio tracks from that multi-camera sequence we just created. And then I'll click okay. And it's loaded all of those settings into this sequence now. So you can see we have all standard tracks and it's already done that panning for us. And so that I never need to create this again, I'm just going to click save preset and I'll call this multi-channel mono and click okay. And then I'll create a new sequence using these settings. I don't need our offline files or that multi-camera sequence we created anymore. So I'll just delete those. And now it's time to add media to our sequence. I might just name this sequence something meaningful. So I'll call this new multi-cam and then I'll add my media to this sequence. 
and I've already added some colored markers in here to help me set up the sync. My other advice would be to add all the audio you could possibly want to use here and we'll exclude the ones we don't want in the timeline in the next step. Okay, so that's looking pretty good to me. Now what we need to do is set the audio channel format of our new multicam sequence. So I'm going to select the sequence in my project panel and then go up to my clip menu and choose modify audio channels. And what we wanna do is set the preset to the audio channel format that we set at the very beginning. So I'm going to click this and choose mono. And then down here, we can choose the number of audio clips that we want our multi-camera sequence to have. So even though I have three tracks of audio down here, I think I might set this to just two because maybe one of them was just a camera reference and I don't need it anymore. And then down here, we can set what audio we want to use for clip one and clip two. And these numbers across the top here are all referring to the track numbers down in our sequence down here. So for example, if for clip one, I want the audio to come from track one, then I would just check track one here. If for clip two, I actually want the audio to come from track three, then I would change this from two to three. And then I'll click OK. And that is pretty much it. There's just one last crucial step that we need to do, and that is to go to our source monitor. And I'm gonna drag this new multicam sequence into my source monitor. I want to right click this and choose multicam enable. And you'll see if I go back to my project panel now, this icon will change from a sequence to a multi-camera sequence. And then I'll go over to my sequence that I'm editing in. I'll just delete this old multi-cam that we created and I'll drag our new multi-cam in. And you can see that our multi-camera sequence has two audio clips with mono channels inside of them. And we can switch between the different video angles. And that is the manual way to create a multi-camera sequence in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.